What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and today we are playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 PC Beta, and I know some of you are like, oh no, Devil, why Call of Duty? Well, if you've been around long enough, you know that this channel did start with Call of Duty, and we played them all up until Ghosts, um, when it just went to shit. Um, and, you know, the last one, that World War II, was actually pretty good, it just got boring pretty quick. Um, but, you know, with the excitement of Black Ops 4 and kind of them saying it's going back to the ground, no more of these exosuits and bullshit, and the Battle Royale, which I'm kind of, you know, I'm not a big Battle Royale fan, but I'm kind of interested to see how they're going to implement a Battle Royale on a Call of Duty. I got a little interested, so I decided, you know, fuck it, let's try it out. Let's try out uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And um, so this is my take on the PC version. Usually PC versions suck um, just because, one, there's always more hackers. There's just, it's just a PC shooter in general, hackers. Um, and usually they kind of run like shit. But, I gotta report, this one didn't run like crap at all. It ran actually pretty fucking well. I had over 200 FPS uh, with my new i9 build. I would run in 1440 with this. No stutters. The only time I got stutters is when I was, you know, recording with um, Shadow Play. Whenever I had to respawn, I'd get a stutter here and there. No big issue. So the beta ran fantastic. There was no issue whatsoever with it. Ran really good. Um, so I was pretty pleasantly surprised at that. Um, so how do I feel overall about this one? Um, it's good. It's not like Modern Warfare 2 or COD 4 good. But it's a step in the right direction. There's none of this raw wall running, exosuits, jetpacks, none of this bullshit. Um, it's a lot more, you know, on the ground, run and gun like it used to be, um, which is nice. But you still have the customization, you have the score streaks, and then you have your nice little specialist, which can, which is a nice little a feature to it. You you know you get these. Every team gets a certain amount of specialist and you know with special abilities which are kind of cool because none of them really overpower but some of them just have some really cool gadgets they can use and they're not table turning or anything like that you know they're not gonna make or break the team but they're still fun to use i also am liking this no heal over time um stuff i like that you physically have to heal uh, i think that's pretty cool it's it's something that's it's refreshing um you know, you have to think about, oh shit, I just ran in, I'm taking some shots, you know, not let me run around the corner for five minutes and fucking heal up. Now I gotta actually heal myself, or, oh, I just healed myself two seconds ago, I'm kinda fucked now. Maybe I shouldn't rush in, maybe I should wait for my health pack to, you know, regenerate. And I like that. That's pretty cool. It's a, it's a cool new thing. They also have a new uh, game mode, which is Heist, which is a lot of fun, and I'm liking that they're kinda thinking outside the box of new game modes. Um, you know, you can actually spend money, you can revive down people, which is, you know, you're starting to see the the different things that they're going to start doing with the Battle Royale, which is kind of cool. You know, the, the reviving is in there, it works, you can move around while you're down. Um, so I did like that. Um, I'm, you know, mainly I, I, I like it, I don't see myself playing the multiplayer as much as I would have Modern Warfare 2 or COD 4, but I do see myself playing it more than some of the other ones that have released since then. Um, my biggest gripe is, I don't know if it's because I've been playing EFT for so long, but everyone's movement speed is super fast. It feels like the game's playing at like a 1.5 multiplied speed. It's just, everyone's, when you get into gun battles, everyone's just strafing really fast back and forth, everyone's jumping around. It seems like the new meta of Call of Duty is whenever you get in a close range dog uh, gunfight is to just strafe around and jump around like a crackhead and jump up and down. Everyone's jump height is just bunny hopping height. They're bunny hopping all over the place. There's no more dolphin diving or drop shots. It just seems like bunny hops is the way to go. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I feel like if this would slow down just a little bit. Like movement speed, um, strafing. This might get back to like the glory days of Call of Duty. You, you might just get there. You might just be able to rekindle the original Black Ops, um, you know. But it just feels fast. Everything feels overly fast for no reason whatsoever. I don't, I don't know if it's just me, but I had a lot of people when I was streaming it commenting that, like, why is this game playing this fast? You're, you're moving super fast. Everyone else is just strafing around really fast. And I noticed it too, and it, it just felt like everything is sped up almost. And it was annoying. It took some... It took some um, getting used to when it came to actually shooting and, and leading targets and stuff But when you get those close-range fights, everyone's just jumping around and strafing and it's like what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like it's just we play in Titanfall we play in fucking Call of Duty like I don't know what's going on here um, It's kind of crazy, but um, 
sensor dart away. I like the I, I'm liking the the customization, the score streaks. There's nothing really too OP that I've seen. Um, all the weapons seem to shoot similar recoil wise, damage wise. There's nothing that you know, weapons that I've seen too OP. Um, time to kill is pretty good. Um, seeing the health bar is actually really nice. I like being able to see a health bar on an enemy and know how close down they are um, and actually, you know, choose your targets better, um, you know, and go from there. The sliding, I'm not really a big fan of sliding in games, um, but I've been playing Warface um, enough to where now when, you know, I, I know how to do the slide, slide shooting and sliding into combat and stuff like that. And it gets fun, but for a lot of people it's not... It, it's kind of a deal breaker, and I get it. I truly do get it because it it leads to some really stupid fucking gameplay. <laughs> but at the same time, once you learn how to slide and, and use it to your advantage, it's definitely pretty cool. Um, it's definitely pretty cool to use. Um, but it's still everything's just fast, very very fast. Um, Overall, though, the multiplayer is pretty decent. I would say it's not the glory days of Call of Duty, but it's definitely better than what we've had in the past. Um, the new game modes they're working on seem pretty cool. The specialists have with their abilities are pretty pretty good, nice. Um, you know, there's nothing that's too OP, and it, it kind of acts as like another little score streak almost. You're kind of waiting for this next little score streak to, you know, for, for your ultimate to kind of charge up. It's I liked it. It, it was pretty cool. Um, and, you know, you're... The equipment, you can choose to take, you know, different equipment like, you know, things that'll help you hear people or, you know, increased med recharge, things like that. Um, so you have to pick and choose more and it gives you more of a kind of a balance of what you want to throw into your class. Uh, if you actually want to, you know, build more for defense or healing or anything like that. But um, the maps are pretty decently laid out. They weren't anything crazy, um, but there wasn't, you know, like, oh, we're going to just single lane this and... Everybody can hope for the fucking best, <laughs> you know. So it, it definitely had a little bit of a balance to it. But overall, I'm really waiting for the Battle Royale of Black Ops 4 before I fully judge it. The multiplayer's there. I mean, it's decent enough. I wouldn't call it, you know, Modern Warfare 2 or COD 4, but it's it's enough, decent enough to play it and, you know, get your fill of it. At least get your money's worth before it's kind of like, you know, this is kind of boring. I do have to say, though, with... When it comes to PC version of Call of Duty, it usually dies out a lot quicker than it would on consoles. So, whenever I do get a Call of Duty game, I give it a few weeks before it gets a hard time either getting overrun with hackers or just the you know the game dies out itself and there's like basically nobody around <laughs> to play it. Um, so, you know, I'm not too optimistic about it, but. With the addition of Battle Royale, which is kind of going to be a game changer, the biggest maps they've ever done, vehicles for once, you know, usable vehicles, it's going to be interesting to see how it runs. And I'm, you know, and, you know, as I said, I'm not a Battle Royale guy, but I try them all. I've always tried them. And to go to see, it's, it's just really interesting to, to kind of see a Call of Duty Battle Royale. And that's what's kind of getting me more intrigued about Black Ops 4. Usually I'm not really kind of big, like, oh, another Call of Duty time come out. You know, it's whatever. But, this one's different. It's definitely different. It just, it kind of, it gets me intrigued, just like Call of Duty World of, uh, World War II did. You know, it was a new, we're going back to World War II. Let's see what, let's see what they do. I'm feeling the same way with this. Like, I really want to see what's being done with it. So, I'm not going to totally blast on it yet until we can see what the battle royale comes with but i do have to say the multiplayer felt pretty nice it definitely did feel pretty nice you know i'm not i'm not gonna blast on the multiplayer it felt good it just felt like everything needed to be slowed down just a little bit everything felt super fast movement speed jumping all over the place it just felt like i should be playing quake I, that's what i felt like i was playing quake i i don't know it was weird maybe maybe i've just spent too much time on on slower paced games but this one definitely felt pretty slow, um, and I would like to see it kind of slow down a little bit. I don't know if it's too late. It's just a little fast. That's my only biggest concern. Um, the gunplay was pretty nice. The gun customization, you know, it's just I'm just kind of waiting. I want to see. I want to see what we're gonna get with Battle Royale. I really want to see what we're gonna get with it. I'm kind of anxious to see it. Like I don't know if this is gonna be something new or. 
You know, same way with with uh, the battlefield. I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of interested to see what these big titans are doing with battle royale. It's just kind of got my interest peaked for some reason. Um, but tell me what you think. I'm kind of interested to know. What do you guys think of Black Ops 4 if you played it? Um, do you like the direction they're going? Do you want them to go back to just going full tilt crazy future shit? Or maybe just kind of a throwback to the old days where you just run around with a gun and have a simple few score streaks and stuff like that. But uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you later, boys. Peace.